topic of physical chemical properties of the solid molecules that is solubility now what is solubility solubility is the ability of a substance to get dissolved in a particular solvent now every substance has the ability to dissolve to some extent to a certain solvent now we know that solubility is the interaction of the solute molecules with the solvent molecules now generally polar solutes solutes dissolves in polar solvents and non polar solutes dissolves in non polar solvents now it is determined by the interaction between solute molecules and solvent molecules it is determined by molarity molarity and percentage now it is important for a solute molecules to get dissolved in a particular solvent uh, because that we know that aqueous solubility or the solubility of a drug in an aqueous phase is very important because it can enter into the cellular compartment and exerts the biological action generally the biochemical re reactions is based on the dissolve from a drug dissolve from a form of a drug in a particular solvent so we know that uh, the drug molecules specially have lipophilicity lipophilicity or uh, it is hydrophilicity Lipophilicity is the ability of a drug molecules to get associated within the lipid molecules or molecules, fatty, fatty substance and hydrophilicity is the ability of the substance to get dissolved in the water. So hydrophilicity is water loving, water loving and lipophilicity is Increase dissolve in fat and Now, there are different parameters. Solubility is uh, a different parameters uh, of a solute molecules. So, what are the parameters? parameters which is exclusively for solute molecules are ionization ionization size and shape shape of molecules electronic structure and stereochemistry which is the spatial arrangement of different functional group of a drug molecules okay that is stereochemistry now we know that for electrolytes, electrolytes have fairly uh, high uh, solubility, it is appreciable solubility uh, because of the reason that uh, electrolytes generally interact with the solvent molecules in an electrostatic manner, uh, such as electrostatic forces or attraction or 
three pulse. But we know that drug molecules are weak acids or weak bases. And weak acids and weak bases, they have a very low ionization constant. They have very low uh, dissociation constant. So, uh, how can we uh, convert a drug into its desired repo, uh, repeat dissolving or water dissolving? So, we can modify a drug, suppose, by converting uh, the weak acids into its salt form. Your drugs are basically weak acids or weak bases. By converting it into the salt form, we can increase its water solubility. Let us take an example. Suppose we are taking suppose sodium form of a drug which gets dissociated to N plus and D. Now this D, this drug molecules will react with water. It reacts with water to form And this is the conjugate form. This is the conjugate form of the drug which is aqueous solution. Conjugate form. Conjugate form which is aqueous solution. We know that uh, the solubility depends on pH. pH. So how? The relationship between solubility and pH. Relationship between solubility and pH. It is generally expressed by pH equals to pKa plus log of Cs minus a zero by so where pkk is ionization constant ionization constant cs is concentration of concentration of both ionized and unionized form of drug. This is the total concentration. S0 is the aqueous solubility, aqueous solubility. Drugs. We calculate it by the formula of 
maximum absorbable dose maximum absorbable dose the general formula for this is ca bgi sgi where ka is intrinsic rate constant intrinsic rate constant vgi is the volume of git fluid volume of git fluid S is the solubility of solubility of drugs. Solubility of drug in GI fluid. N P equals to of drugs. Resident time of drug of drug in GI fluid. So this is a general formula that does not applicable only for endocytosis. Endocytosis. It does not does not applicable. So it is also desirable because we know that uh, the drugs need to be properly soluble in the GI fluid for its action. At the same time, it should be much less aqueous soluble for exertion of its biological effect. So we need to increase water solubility. Uh, at the same time, uh, increase water solubility for the excretion or uh, elimination of the drug, obviously. But uh, for it is also important for the drug to get dissolved in the GI fluid. That means the drugs needs to be properly soluble in the GI fluid or the solvent. It is obvious that drugs needs to be increase its aqueous solubility to get eliminated from the body. The drugs need to be properly soluble in the GI fluid because it will exert action. At the same time, it will it should have it should have enough uh, non solubility in aqueous phase. To get its pharmacological action, okay. So this for this is a general formula for uh, any kinds of absorption of drugs. Uh, in case of we have shown here in case of GI, but it can be applicable to every uh, kind of absorption except endocytosis. Okay. So uh, the drug needs to be uh, generally absorbed. Uh, through the membranes, right? So it needs to be properly aqueous soluble to reach the membrane. Across the membrane, it needs permeability in the uh, membrane. Okay. In the next video, we will discuss about that. What What are the different strategies of uh, increasing the drug permeability or into increasing the solubility in case of chemical analogs of different kinds of drugs? We will also discuss that how we can modify the chemical entities so that we can get maximum solubility in case in case we can convert the polar drugs to non-polar drugs, non-polar drugs to polar drugs for easy for its easy elimination for uh, those kind of drugs that are uh, needs to be eliminated fast from the body, and we will also discuss that uh, how we can uh, modify. By uh, changing some of the properties, such as uh, pK values and also uh, the uh, the changing of the polarity, that will cause the drugs to be properly absorbed in, into the body and to exert its pharmacological action. Thank you.